Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to create a fall inspired makeup look but still I'm going to celebrate the last sunny days. If you know me you know that summer is my favorite season so that's why I'm creating a fall makeup look but I still want to have a little bit of sunshine on my face. When we say fall makeup look I usually imagine that really matte a little bit vampy makeup look. This one is going to be different. It's going to be a fall inspired but still celebrating the last sunny day. So I'm starting with my base and all of the products that I use are going to be in the description box. Of course, first of all, I took my hair back so that you can see what's happening on my face and I'm going to zoom in a minute um, just to start applying the foundation. So let me zoom in. So I'm using the Givenchy foundation that I have been using recently and I'm going to use it here and there. I love this foundation and I'm going to do a very light base. So usually when we say a fall inspired makeup look, I imagine that really perfected matte makeup look. This one is not going to be matte just because I want to celebrate and I want to add some sunshine to my face because I'm in the mood for that pumpkin spice latte but still not in the mood for a real fall days, let's say. So now I'm going to use one other foundation and this one is by Guerlain and this is the matte foundation. I have a full review of this one and recently I have been loving to use this foundation just a little bit under my eyes because I find it very brightening and I find that actually it works. It's a little bit higher coverage than I would normally use on an everyday basis and that's why I just use it instead of concealer because it works so beautifully. And I'm only going to apply it on the place where I need right here under my eyes just to brighten that area. I did apply too much, but I'm just going to blend this with my fingers. Okay, and I would normally use it actually for pinpoint concealing. If I have some darker areas in my face, I'm just brushing my brows right now. Um, so if I have some darker parts of my face, or if you need a little bit more of a full coverage conceal. Um, foundation, if you need a little bit of a um, more like a um, solid medium coverage foundation, I think this one is really good now for the fall season because it is quite matte but at the same time it looks natural. It doesn't make the skin look um, flat matte. It has a good coverage. For me it gives that kind of a porcelain dull effect which I don't like to have on a daily basis because it looks too made up and too much um, almost like photoshopped, so that's why I don't use it because I want to keep my skin more realistic but if you have a bad skin day or if you have um, days when you just need a little bit more coverage this one is a good option. And I'm going to set everything with powder. Currently I'm using the Chanel Loose Powder which I happen to like a lot. I'm using number 20 and it matches my skin tone quite well so I'm just gonna pat a little bit here on the center of my face around the nose and the places where I normally would get shiny. I have combination skin. For those of you who are new to my channel, for everyone who is new to my channel, welcome, a very special welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I didn't have a lot of time recently to reply to all of the comments that I have been receiving but I promise I'm going to go back to my older videos and I'm going to reply to all comments. So for anyone who is new here, very, very special welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And we're moving on to blushes. So I'm keeping this part of my face clean because I want to use a cream blush. And it's one of the blushes that I showed you in my favorites video, if I'm not mistaken. So this one is the Westman Atelier blush. Just gonna dot this with my fingers. Just to add some color to my face and you can do this with a brush or with fingers. I usually do it with a brush. I don't know why now I decided to do this with fingers, but anyways. Okay, so one tip that I want to share with you when you're applying a cream blush, any kind of cream blush, just make sure that you're patting actually, whether you're using fingertips or brushes, be sure to just pat on the face just like this because otherwise if you start swiping with a brush or with your fingers, you're going to remove the foundation and you're not going to look as flawless, so just be sure to pat. That's how you're going to apply the blush on top of the foundation, but without removing the coverage, 
and you're going to create a, that really nice um, look. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit more powder just around here um, and I'm being careful not to remove the blush, not to tone down the blush, but I just want everything to be powdered because I have combination skin and otherwise if I don't powder, I'm going to become too oily in a couple of hours. Now I'm going to continue by using this cool tone bronzer from the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm palette. I love this bronzer and I have been using it every day. It just helps to warm up my skin a little bit and I'm going to use it right here. I just want to blend it with the blush. I don't want this to look like um, Napoli ice cream. I'd, so I don't want to make my face look like um, Italian ice cream, but I just want this blush to blend with the bronzer. Actually, the bronzer to be blended with the blush. So that's why I'm, I'm almost going over the blush as well. And very lightly so that I don't move everything. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on my forehead and on my nose. Just to warm up my skin. So this bronzer works beautifully for my complexion and I would normally use a little bit more, but now I'm using the Westman Atelier blush and I want the blush to stand out a little bit, so that's why I'm not using too much. But normally I would buy this palette only for the bronzer because this bronzer, it's kind of a gelée formula, almost like a gel to powder formula and it's really brilliant. Eyes are going to be very quick and effortless and I'm going to be using this um, leopard shade. This is from the Chantecaille Fall Makeup Collection. It's this gorgeous bronzy shade and if you don't have this one you can always use another one. You can always replace it with another one and I'm going to use this with my finger. I'm just going to tap the color onto my eyelids and that's it. This is going to be a very easy and quick look. I love and enjoy the foaming collection from Chantecaille. So I'm quickly applying the color with my finger, but after that I'm going to be using a brush because I cannot get the color precisely with my finger. And I'm going to be blending with a brush. Okay, so that's with the two eyes up to the crease, just one color. And now I'm going to be using one of my favorite fall Chanel eyeliners. This one is in number 56 and it's the khaki green color. Or was the name different? I think this is the khaki metal. Yes, exactly. So this is this color and I think it's very suitable for the fall season. So I'm just going to line my eyes, my upper lash line, because I think that I just want to add a little bit of green here. I'm just going to lightly line my upper lash line. Okay, and then also very carefully I'm going to apply on my lower lash line. Now if you don't have very sensitive eyes here, you can apply also the eyeliner in the waterline, but I never do that, almost never do that, just because my eyes are crazily sensitive. They are um, frustratingly sensitive. Okay, and now I'm going to need a little bit more blending here just to remove the edges. So I'm having my Big Chanel brush. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. You see me using it every single time. And this is the blender shader from Chanel. And I'm finally going to have a link in the description box because I always forget to link my brushes in the description box. I promise I'm going to change that. Okay, so I'm just blending the edges here. And now, because I said in the beginning of the video that I want to celebrate also those very last sunny days, I'm going to add a ray of sunshine. And this is going to be from the Tom Ford highlighter. I'm going to use this shade here, just with my fingertip. And I'm going to add just a little bit of light right here. And this one is going to make a huge difference. It makes a huge difference in real life. Not really sure if this is going to make a difference on camera, but in real life, it does make a difference. Okay, so you can probably see, I'm going to zoom in right away. 
Okay, so this is how it looks so far and I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply mascara and I'm going to be back. Okay, so I'm almost finished with the eyes but I just want to apply a little bit of lipstick because this is what is going to bring that autumnal vibe in my makeup look and this is my favorite Chantecai lip shade and it's this one. This is one of the lip shades and it's Wisteria. It is a lovely, gorgeous color. So this is Wisteria on my lips and I like to build up the color just to have a little bit more color. You can build up the color or you can have it more sheer the way you want to. And I have a suggestion for Shantakai. If someone from Shantakai ever, ever happens to watch this video, uh, I would love to see a matte lipstick, um, a matte version and a little bit more high coverage version of Wisteria because I think this is one of your best shades. Um, okay, so anywho, oops. I dropped the foundation. Um, anyways, so there is just one thing that I want to do for my eyes and this is respecting again the last sunny days. I'm going to be using my favorite Chanel highlighter. This one is the Camellia highlighter. I'm going to be using the platinum shade on a small Chanel brush. This is one of my favorite Chanel brushes just because it's very precise and I'm going to dip the brush into the highlighter. And I'm going to apply the highlighter right in the inner corner of my eye, but only on the lower inner corner. And it adds a lot of light. It. I'm not sure if, the ca if on camera it's going to look good, but in real life it makes such a huge difference. I can't even tell you. And now I'm using the same highlighter, again the platinum shade right here on the upper parts of my cheeks just on the high points of my face and with my fingertip just on the bridge of my nose but in the middle. Okay and I think this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it's a faux appropriate makeup look but still with some respect to the last sunny days and I love to enjoy those last sunny days in the fall season. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!